Nickelodeon Skate TV, the only skateboarding show made by skaters for skaters. On today's show, we'll meet street stylist Ed Templeton, vertical chef Joe Johnson, Alva skater Dave Duncan. Plus, we'll take a look at public skate ramps, we'll see Mario Rubalcava on the Skate TV mini ramp, and visit with Tom Knox on location. We'll also bring you 10 insane ramp tricks you won't want to miss. Hi, I'm Matthew Lynn, and this is Skate Master Tate, busting a few old style turns and skating to the beat of the sidewalk, rolling under his feet. Let's get started today and check out our first skate TV remote with street star Ed Templeton. Thanks, Matt. Ed Templeton from Huntington Beach, California, is one of today's most progressive and consistent street skaters. With two major wins at pro contests in Tahoe and Germany, it looks like he's having a great first year as a pro skater. I've been skating about six years, I think, and I used to be 16, but now I'm 17, and I'm almost 18. And one day I'll be 19, but I'm still not gonna drive. That was stupid, huh? I like to skate mostly street spots, like coming to beach high school and stuff. skate alone at night and stuff because it's colder and it's not as hot. If I wasn't really skateboarding, I'd probably sit in my house and play Nintendo all day. I hang out with my girlfriend, Dana, who sits in the car and reads books. I read books sometimes, too. John Steinbeck and stuff. How's that? People are looking at me right now, and I feel stupid for doing an interview. <laughs> Joe Johnson's this week's Style King. Joe began skating in Kenya, then moved to skate Southern California, where he continues to explore the vertical boundaries of local ramps. Let's check in with Joe. I've been skateboarding for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And what got you started? Um, I first started skateboarding when I lived in Kenya in Africa, and a friend of mine had a skateboard at the school that I went to, and we were just riding the banks at the school there. Well, I go over to France each year and teach a skateboard camp in Bourges. It's right in the center of France. And then I just travel around, um, go to Germany to the world championships there, um, travel to Denmark, um, England, Scotland. Well known on the uh, skate circuit, Joe, that you're a gourmet chef. What are your favorite dishes to make? Um, well, I like to make lasagna, probably the best. That's my favorite to eat, too. Yeah. What kind of terrain do you like to skate? Um, I like to skate half pipes mostly. Um, I kind of avoid backyard pools, but um, if there's one there, I'll probably do a few carves or the something. The opportunity pops up, huh? Yeah. Who do you like skating with? Um, I usually skate with. Tony Hawk. Well, like when I skate, I usually skate with like Ray Underhill or Joe Johnson. I skate at Tony Hawk's ramp, so just whoever shows up there, just whoever shows up there. Joe Johnson, Joe Johnson, Joe Johnson. Just whoever shows up there. Uh, skateboard contests are great, you know, it's good for the kids to see. Um, it, I, I like the competition. I'm not too successful in the competitions, really, but um, I have a good time. So, Joe, do you have any safety tips for the kids at home? Um, yeah, just get some good knee pads, uh, drink plenty of water when you're skating, spend some time stretching before and after you skate. 
Thanks a lot for joining us today, Joe. Really appreciate it, man. Look out! Here comes the first five skate TV monster ramp trick. Here's the one-footed McTwist. Notice the foot coming off the tail as he McTwists. The Vario McTwist. Boy, I wish I could do one of those. A Unit 180. Check it out. Unit 180. An Elgario by Kendall. And don't forget that fat Ollie to tail grab by Christian. Yep, fat Ollie. Grab that tail and uh! Here's hard skating Dave Duncan, shredding the skate TV pool. Dave's been skating since the 70s and is currently one of the guiding forces behind the Alva skate team. Now we're here with Mr. David A. Duncan. Dave, what up? What's up, Tate? What got you started? Well, when I was about 12 years old, I'm a young kid. Just always fooled around with the fun of cruising down the sidewalks and stuff. When they got the urethane wheels going, made the possibilities for terrain like this to be explored. Back then, who were some of your early influences? Uh, all the aggressive type of skaters that dominated this type of terrain. Uh, along with Tony Alva, Jay Adams, Stacy Peralta, guys in the magazine, Z Boys, Nathan Pratt was one of them. Just, you know, all, all the rippers that took aggression out of their skating. What types of terrain do you like to skate and why? Uh, my favorite is backyard pool sessions like this when you're with the bros, not, to, not just high energy fully pumping each other up, going crazy, going off. Just real loose kind of sessions. What's your favorite style of skating? Favorite style is full speed ahead, just full attack, grinding as far as you can, pushing everything to limit, catching air, inverts, everything. What do you do when you're not skating? You surf, don't you? Yeah, I'm into snowboarding, surfing, and uh, also I'm the team manager for Alba Skateboards. That keeps me pretty busy. I bet it does. Busy. What exactly do you do with the team? Uh, I set up all kinds of demos and competitions and travel around, make sure we're having a good time capturing it all on video. I get input back from the guys on the products that we make and uh, just generally have a good time. Make sure to take care of business. Can you explain some of the fun aspects of running a team? Uh, yeah, the funnest aspects are being able to travel and skate all different types of terrain all over and uh, our guys are really good. They like to have a good time, so it makes it real easy to have fun. I bet. Any good road stories? Oh, man, yeah, there's been a lot. Mostly the best road stories are probably the ones international where you're speaking another language. Hey, what's up? What up, Gabe? Hey, hey check it out, these gators. These things grow on trees, you understand? They can light a fire. You skate too hard, they blow up. They start smoking they when you get on them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Leave me alone, I gotta go skate. Go skate. All right. So what do you think skaters should keep in mind as the most important thing about skating? Definitely when you're skating, the whole reason you're doing it is all self-fulfillment. Make sure you're having a good time, people around you are having a good time, and with that, you can't go wrong. Words of wisdom from David A. Duncan. With that... It's time to check into the skate shop and find out about board repairs with Lance Mountain. Board repairs. Unfortunately, if your board's this bad off, there's nothing we can do about it. But Lance is going to show us what we can do with D-Lambs and a few other problems. Take it away, Lance. Well, you usually get your board and you skate it for a while, and the common thing is that your tail wears down, you get chips, or you get, like, cracks, D-Lambs. And uh, you can chuck the board out and beg your mom to buy a new one. Which doesn't always work. Or you can uh, actually give your board a little life by trying to fix it thing like this, with a big crack like this, you, you want to use a, 
like a uh, white glue or a uh, actually a uh, five minute epoxy is probably the best thing right here and uh, some clamps and let me try to fix this up for you what to do is try to get the uh, splinters out there first try to clear them out try to get them out so we can uh there's some of the things that you can do to prevent damage um keep it in its package not write it <laughs> Some sense um, all all boards, all boards are gonna get damaged, you know, if you actually, if you're actually skating it. Isn't there some things that you could put on the nose and the tail to prevent these things? Oh yeah, we got some impact. right here. You got nose bones, you know, little nose guards. You got tail guards, skids, stuff. You can put all this stuff on your board. Rails helps. All this stuff will um, help it last a little longer. Get a clamp. Probably not one this big. Clamp it together there see it ooze out and let it dry you know and then uh, come back and sand it or file it down you know just make a nice edge don't forget you're only as good as your board so take care of it thanks Lance see you next week coming up next on skate TV we'll visit public skate ramps see Mario Rubalcava shred the skate TV mini ramp visit Tom Knox on location and we'll see the final five ramp tricks you won't want to miss Catch air. We'll be right back with more Skate TV on Nickelodeon. Be five, ho, hum. Come on, you guys. Only a little. Yeah. Oh, hungry giant. Hungry for a big honey taste. Big taste, honeycomb, big taste. Honeycomb, big, yeah, yeah, yeah. small. No, no, no. Honeycomb, Weekdays at 2.30, Ha takes you on the roller coaster ride of love and marriage with Rhoda. Mary, I'm getting married. Married? Come on, honey, nothing's that hard. What is it? Rhoda and I are separated. Uh, huh. How come you're not in the Bronx with Ma? I think I may be having an affair. I hate days like this. I can't tell you. But we're getting married. Buckle up and keep your hands in the car when you ride with Rhoda. Weekdays at 2.30 on Hot, the first TV comedy network. Chester Cheetah here in one red-hot slingshot, itching to enter that Cheetos production center. My cool takes a party as I go bombarding those Cheetos snacks he's garden. The cheese that goes! Crunch. It's not easy being cheesy. Now back for more Skate TV on Nickelodeon. Skate TV recently visited two public skate parks to find out how they worked. Public ramps are a great answer to the question of where to skate in your town. Check it out. See about getting one started in your own neighborhood. Steve and uh, I work here at the Visalia YMCA and uh, basically what I do is make sure everyone pays and puts their pads on and, and then I get to skate so I get paid for skating kind of. Okay, my name is Jim Teddy. I'm the uh, owner and leader of the Explored Plus 360 here in Huntington uh, Beach, California. Uh, what we got here is uh, five multi ramps and uh, if it wasn't for the Boy Scouts of America, uh, we wouldn't have these things. They pick up my liability insurance, uh, and then what that does is get everybody to a team effort. Donovan, I always ramp, I skate, and I watch people skate, and I like to have my own ramps, it's real fun. That's it. Well, I really support the skateboarding 100%. Uh, the kids are just uh, really, really nice kids, and it keeps the kids active. That's what we got to do for the youth these days. we got to keep the kids active. Pretty soon, the skateboarding, I see it being an Olympic sport. 
need somebody behind these skaters. They are talented. They're like they're like pilots. They're pilots. They fly through the air. They're looking good. Yeah. The YMCA ramp, vert ramp. It's 40 feet wide and 11 feet high with a 10 foot high section. Ollie flip, Ollie flip, grab, Ollie flick, 180. Ollie flip, inside out. Dale fish, inside air. Yeah. 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 Smith grind to shuffle to revert. Fakies. Smith. Oh, very old, very old. To stand up pivot. Very old off step, very old to a mouth and whatever. Oh, flip on right. <laughs> Selfish revert. All the reverts. Can I stop now? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the dreads? I'm not into like reggae or anything, it's just more mainly just my statement as an individual, you know, just myself, you know. Always left my hair alone, wore a hat, and just kind of evolved into this. It's really hard. I mean, I hear the stories like you can't wash your hair or... No, nah, Is nah. this brutal? Um, no, it's not even like that. You can wash your hair, you just don't brush it, you know? Just don't brush it and just keep them clean, you know? You play in a band? Yeah, the name of my band is Committed and um, I play drums. We have a couple songs in an H Street video and um, we're getting more songs in a Blockhead video. How old are you? Um, I'm 17. 17, you still go to high school? Yeah, I'm a senior and I go to... Alta Vista High School and they're into skateboarding. We had a demonstration there last year and me and Danny Way, we built this little mini ramp there and they fully paid for it and it was just really cool, you know, and then they're, they're really lenient about me skateboarding and stuff, you know. And if I have to go on a trip or something, they'll just give me work and they're really mellow about it, you know. It's wonderful. Your school supports your actions? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Have you read any good books lately? Yeah, um, like Beowulf, The Crucible, and read those books in school and stuff and I'm just I'm in a I'm in, I like reading a lot you know skateboard magazines or music magazines and I like to collect records a lot too a lot of different types of music and stuff you know I like to collect t-shirts too a lot of t-shirts yeah. how many t-shirts do you have I don't know I'm just into t-shirts that a lot of people don't have you know and I like to whether if it's just misprinted wrong you know if there's something different about it I just like to collect it you know music and skateboarding you know yeah yeah Skaters, the following question. List one ingredient in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, 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 that's a good question. Um, 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 tough question. I don't know. Um, I was just pretend. In the real world, if I wasn't wearing my pads, I'd be hurt. Make sure you always wear your pads, kitties. And now for something completely different, the home viewer video. All right, this one comes to us from Igor, from the planet Earth. And let's uh, check out a few of his moves. have a tape of you and your friend skating, make sure to send it to us, because we want it, all right? Let's check out this clip from this exciting new skate video. Here's some clips from the most recent release by World Industries, featuring Rodney Mullen, Ron Chapman, and Jeremy Klein.
now, Skate TV goes on location to check out Skate Pro Tom Knox. Alright, uh, my name's Tom Knox. I ride for Santa Cruz Skateboards and Independent Trucks. Just roll around, that's all that matters. a street contest but a street contest isn't like when you go street skating every day you know street contests are usually jump ramps and hips and stuff you know They're, they don't ever have a parking block there or a curb or a vertical wall or a, a real cement hip or you know driveways or anything like that they just try and simulate the street and it doesn't work out very well but I just try and skate the best I can in them